How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Solar and today I actually want to scratch my own itch and that is understanding what is the difference between a clean solar panel and what that can produce over multiple hours compared to a dirty solar panel. I have two samples right here that I can test side by side on this beautiful sunny day. And I want to take you along and show you the results. Now, if you look online, usually you get somewhere around 20%. A dirty solar panel can take a performance impact and it can reduce the energy production by up to 20%. But I want to find out, is that actually true? And in this example right here, we can see how dirty the panel is. I'll give you a close up of that. What is that exact percentage impact? So we can make an educated decision on how to maintain our solar panels. So once you get solar panels on your home, you do need to maintain those and cleaning is part of that maintenance. So that is a decision point you need to make. Is that yearly? Is it multiple times per year? Well, this will help you make that decision because you'll have a better understanding on what is that potential energy loss between the clean versus dirty. So let's jump into it. Taking a look at our setup here, we have two different 360 watt helium panels. Each panel will run into its dedicated EcoFlow Delta Pro as a solar generator. That is what's gonna be storing the energy and that's gonna help us get the baseline comparison of how much energy each of these is gonna produce over the test. Just confirming both of these units are bringing in solar power and the batteries are right at 60%. A little closer look, you can see the conversion cable here from MC4 running in back of the EcoFlow, and that's to an XT60 to charge up the unit. And then I was trying to kind of simulate dust, or probably more accurate, a bunch of pollen on your panel. So you can see that dirty panel with that dusting across it compared to our nice clean panel. And give you a little bit closer look up here. I just really used some flour, some wheat flour to dust this panel so we could see what is the overall impact and then you can relate this testing to what you see on your panels at home. So I just completed the testing and what I did is I ran for about two and a half hours. Now it was partly sunny, so we did have some clouds coming in and I took intervals where I came out and I documented the watts being put out on the clean side compared to the dirty side every 30 minute interval. So I'll show you that table in a second. But in the last interval, if we just look at the percentage battery increase, we moved from 60% to 74% on the clean side. And then we went from 60% to 72% on the dirty side. Now the challenge there is we're only adding 14% battery max on the clean side. So if that clean side just ticked up from 73 to 74, that is actually not an accurate representation and it can cause a lot of error. So I think a better way to look at it, because in that case, it's about 14% performance impact that the dirty side would be 14% less productive in terms of producing energy. What I would prefer to look at is each of those intervals where I was documenting the watts being produced. So let's look at that table. So if we look at each of the intervals, what I did is I took the watts being produced from the clean and the dirty every 30 minutes. So right away, I took an interval, then at 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 120 minutes, and then finally at 150 minutes or after that two and a half hours. And that is where you saw we document also the percentage battery uh, increase that we did over the interval. Taking each of those intervals, we got a maximum watts out of 309 on the clean side and 290 on the dirty side. And that was at both at the same interval right after an hour, after 60 minutes. But then we did have a few cloudy data points where we are all the way down to 92 watts on the, the clean side and 85 watts on the dirty side. But what it is, I just took the average of each of those uh, data points. So 217 was the average for the clean side, 204 was the average for the dirty side. That gives us 6.3 or just above 6% in terms of a performance loss for the dirty panel. That number I trust more. So in that six, probably six to 8% for a panel as dirty as this one, that is the performance impact that you can expect if you're looking up at your panels and you see something similar to what we have here on our dirty panel. But six to 8% is definitely an impact that you do not want to take. So cleaning your panels like I need to do with this one behind me is critical. So this one's easy. I just have one panel and it's on ground level. So I'm just using a nice soft sponge and some water, and I'm just gonna wipe it down. 
But if you need some tips, tricks, what tools are out there, whether you're hiring out professionally or you want to do it yourself and you want to do that safely, check out this video right here. We'll walk you through and get you pointed in the right direction for cleaning off your own panels at home. So thanks for joining me in this video. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.